Hello there, neighbors and neighborettes. Welcome to Local History. I'm your host, Miguel Sanchez, and we are currently on episode 6 of the series. No, we were into episode 6. Last episode, episode 6 was on uh, ESPN. So, yeah. So we are now on episode 7, that is. And this episode is about MSNBC. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you look forward to reading your comments down below. All right. Here we go with episode 7, which is MSNBC. And here at the Trump Bar Foundation, we don't know what MSNBC is. MSNBC is an American cable television channel that provides NBC news coverage as well as its own reporting and political commentary on current events. MSNBC is owned by the NBC Worldwide News Group division of NBC Universal, all of which ultimately owned by Comcast. MSNBC and its website were founded in 1996 under a partnership between Microsoft and General Electric's NBC Unit. Hence the na network's name week. Although they have the same name, MSNBC.com and MSNBC maintain separate sh corporate structures and news operations. MSNBC.com was headquartered on the Microsoft campus in Redmond, Washington, while MSNBC operated out of NBC's headquarters in New York City. Microsoft invested itself out of, uh, of its stakes in the MSNBC channel in 2005 and, and MSNBC.com in July 2012. The general news site was created as NBCnews.com, and a new MSNBC.com was created as the online home of the Gable Channel. In late in, in the late summer of 2015, MSNBC revamped, revamped its programming. The moves were in sharp contrast to previous programming decisions at the network. MSNBC sought to sharpen its news image by entering into a dual editorial relationship with its organizational parent NBC News. NBC, NBC Live, the network's flagship daytime news program, or should I say, network's flagship daytime news platform, was expanded to cover over eight hours of the day. Phil Griffin, president, Phil Griffin is the president and director of day-to-day -day operations at NBC. NBC. As of September 2018, approximately 87 million households in the United States, or 90.7% of paid television Subscribers were receiving MSNBC. In 2019, MSNBC ranked second amongst, among basic cable networks, averaging 1.8 million viewers, behind rival Fox News. This concludes the short bio of MSNBC. Now let's go on to the local history of MSNBC. 1994 to 1996. Uh, uh, now this is clear. Their, their start as MSNBC actually, actually started under a different name, and that was America's Talking. So here we have a... Uh, Yellow square, and on it there's a letter A in a uh, uh, red text, but uh, uh, but the right letter A was cut off to form a star, and on the right of it there's a letter T in blue text, and uh, on the uh, and under everything there are the, there's a word Americas in a uh, blue text, but the letter uh, but the apostrophe is actually a blue star, and uh, and under that word there's a red line under this word talking in blue text. Here's the grayscale version. 1996 to 2006 this is the well-known logo of MSNBC. As you can see, that this is the print version of the logo. We have the letters M, S, and N in, in vertical form, followed by the letters N, B, and C in horizontal form. So the letters MSN are in vertical form. The, the words NBC is in horizontal form, but uh, as they're both connected to form M, S, and B, C. Also, on the top right of it, there's the NBC peacock. 1960-2000, now the NBC Peacock is more colorful, and the letter N is now red text. Here's the version without the border. 2000-2006, the letter N is now black text. Here's the version without the border. 2006-2009, the, the text is now horizontal. Here's the print version, the version without the border, the stacked version, the print version, the stacked version, and the version without the border. 2009-2015, uh, the font changed, and now every letter is now lowercase. Here is the print version, the version without the border, and the version with the slogan, Lean Forward. And finally, 2015 to the present, all the letters are now lowercase again, but in the same font. Actually, every letter is in, actually, all the letters are in capital A letters. All the letters are now capital again, but they're still in the same font. Anyways, here we have the print version, uh, the version without the border, the stat version, but without the border, and the version with the slogan, this is who we are. Alright, thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell so you don't miss a single video that, that upload. Uh, new episodes published all the time. So please hit your notification bell for now. I'm Ego Sanchez, and I will see you very soon for the next episode of Logo History. Join us right back here again real soon for episode 8, which is going to be about Ion Television. For all of us in Logo History, I am Miguel Sanchez. After 5 minutes of Logo History, I'll see you in another one. Peace out, guys. Laters.